Turning back to your weather right now, crews are cleaning up several down and broken trees at Freedom Park. That's in the Dilworth neighborhood. It comes after storms moved through the area last night. Thankfully, no reported injuries as a result of the damage. But Larry Sprinkle joining us now. Larry, how are we looking for the rest of the, uh, of the day and the weekend? Looks like a uh, kind of cloudy out there right now from our camera there in uh, downtown Kannapolis, right there at Kannapolis Atrium Health Ballpark. Uh, you can see the cloud cover there. That's really uh, across the region at the moment. I tell you what, cloud cover is going to limit a lot of things. Certainly the, the potential for higher temperatures, limit that sunshine, and also limit the instability, which is also some good news out there. Look at the nation. We still have some major heat advisories and warnings in effect from the southern plains, around Dallas, all the way to the mid south. Right around Memphis, Tennessee, Atlanta, Georgia, all the way in the Shaw Metro area. We do have a heat advisory in effect uh, from now all the way to 7 p.m. So the potential for some very high heat index temperatures, somewhere over 100 degrees in many neighborhoods out there. As far as our severe weather risk, that's the other factor today. We're kind of in the low end potential for strong thunderstorms, not as widespread as what we saw yesterday. You saw the damage reports here from Freedom Park. UV index uh, shows uh, right around eight, it's pretty high today, but Sunday you're limited back to five, and that that's with the cloud cover and temperatures in the upper 70s. Here's the radar shot across the region. Nothing happening here. We do have some uh, showers and storms tracking off the Carolina coastline. Around the Outer Banks are getting some showers out there. Another band of rain, uh, South Georgia. Otherwise, it's all across the Midwest. We're starting to see the storms out there at the moment. Future cast takes us about 2 o'clock this afternoon. A few spotty showers uh, north of Taylorsville, over around areas from Greensboro to Raleigh. Durham would take you to about 5 o'clock this afternoon. Notice some heavier rainfall, even some uh, pop up thunderstorms from Rockingham to Shira over towards Southern Pines and the Sand Hills, up around the Albemarle area, some showers. We get to about 8 o'clock this evening. Heavier pockets of precipitation from Albemarle to Wadesboro, all the way over towards Southern Pines and Rockingham. This is uh, around 10 o'clock tonight. Look at the stormy weather from Monroe along Highway 74 to Wadesboro and Rockingham. More showers and storms developing uh, across the upstate of South Carolina. This takes us also around uh, 10 o'clock uh, tonight. Some storms there. Then uh, early tomorrow morning after midnight, even in the Shaw Metro, we start to see some heavy pockets of precipitation from Rock Hill another band of storms across the upstate of South Carolina. Temperature at the moment, 86 at Shiraz there in South Carolina. It's 80 at Hickory, 76 at Jefferson over at Shelby and Gastonia and Lincoln and Charlotte. All tied up at 82 apiece. It's 84 at Rock Hill and Chester. Once again, these temperatures all from the influence of some cloud cover to keep the temperatures down a bit and not into the 90s like we've seen the past couple of days. So for today, upper 80s around 2 o'clock this afternoon. We take you to about 5 p.m. in the low 90s. As we head towards the, the evening, late afternoon, could be some pop-up thunderstorms. And once again, I don't think we'll see the, the widespread storm activity um, like we saw yesterday. In fact, for today, we're really on that low end category for strong and severe thunderstorms. There may be a couple out there. We showed you that picture over towards Rockingham and Waysboro late tonight. I think those are the areas that could see some strong storms. And for tomorrow, really basically the same. It's on Sunday that we see a limited chance of any storm activity at all. In fact, uh, shouldn't see any. We'll take a look at future casts. Uh, Saturday, this is Saturday uh, right around noon. We start to see some stormy weather in the mountains and the foothills. This is around 2 o'clock Saturday afternoon. Some Scattered showers and storms west of Interstate 77. Then Saturday uh, afternoon, about 5 o'clock, stormy weather from South Charlotte to Rock Hill all the way to Lancaster, Sharon there in South Carolina. Another band of storms Saturday evening, about 7 o'clock, uh, over towards Wadesboro in that area. Then we take it 9 o'clock Saturday night up around Statesville and Taylorsville there in Alexandria County. And then that line of storms tracks across the area early into uh, Sunday morning. We could see some storms after midnight. So once again, uh, the impact level would be some strong winds, maybe some heavy, heavy rain and just a limited chance of a tornado out there. High temperatures today will be in the low 90s over most of the area. And once again, we're in that moderate drought across the region as we get to the end of the week. And look at that 79 on Sunday. Highest temperature next week, 91 degrees. More coming up in a few minutes, Sarah.